And now, the night before Christmas. This would be a good time for the Muslims to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas, and all the Jews are at the movies. Or eating Chinese food. <laughs> I'm just trying to include everybody. Twas. Hold it. What? Who the hell says twas? It's in the story. It's old and stupid. It's tradition. Is it? <laughs> twas the night before Christmas and all through the house. Why is it always a house? What? There's kids who live in apartments. How does Santa Claus get to the kids in the apartment, Uncle Jesse? <laughs> they have to buzz his ass in. <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> and all through the apartments, not a creature was stirring, except for the assholes in 2B. <laughs> They're drunk and hitting each other with menorahs. <laughs> Oy they. That's Jewish for holy shit. <laughs> Nothing funnier than throwing in a couple of holy shits in the middle of the night before Christmas, huh? <laughs> not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Mouse, you wish. You're in a partner. That's a rat. <laughs> the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. And believe me, the room could use some fresh air. Seriously, how the hell did that tradition start? What, hanging up dirty laundry, hoping Santa would fill it with goodies? I'd like to suck on this candy cane, but it smells like dead feet. Good thing the tradition wasn't jock straps. <laughs> Sally, what's in yours? Nuts. <laughs> And mommy says they're magically delicious. <laughs> you are ruining this story. Well, you're the pervert eating out of your own jock strap. Isn't this the part where the kids are sleeping with sugar plums dancing in their heads? What does that mean? I think they're hallucinating. These apartment children are on drugs. Santa's gonna bring me a G.I. Joe and a bong. <laughs> and Daddy wants a ho ho ho. <laughs> it's Daddy and the Three Hoes. <laughs> With Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap, had just settled down for a thick snort of crack. <laughs> oh, Guitar Guy, you're in the story too. Well, you have to get to the part where Santa gets busted for breaking and entering. Where the hell is that? It's not breaking and entering. Oh, keep reading. I think it qualifies. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He fell down. Yes. Doesn't this say his face is all red? Yeah. Why does no one ever see this? He is drunk off his ass. <laughs> this is a horrible, horrible story. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. That, drinking and driving, in a furry gay outfit, covered in soot, he's smoking, and you let him in the house because he said he had something for your kids. <laughs> You ain't check his ID, then taser his fat ass. And how fat is this guy anyway? Everyone 
always leaving the plates full of cookies. I think he's a diabetic too, don't you think? You gotta leave him a plate full of insulin. How about that? Can't wait to hear this story next year. The Night Before Christmas Part 2. Santa's on dialysis and he's missing a leg. <laughs> and all his little dollies have coliosis. <laughs> Finish this story. Oh, please do. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. Gotta go quick, cause there's a cop with a pistol. <laughs> but I heard him exclaim, Harry he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all. Oh crap, I ran over your bike. <laughs> <laughs>